Welcome to the ultimate notability guide for the iPad. Okay, it doesn't matter what iPad you have, you can literally use anything as long as you've got notability. Today we'll be organizing the basics of notability from creating notes to organizing your library. So let's hop right into it. If you're a student, entrepreneur, professional, creative, or if you're just someone who loves taking notes and you want it more organized, tired of paper, continue watching me. Right now we're on the Notability app. Most of my notes are organized, some are not by the way, so. But don't worry, later on in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to like organize, divide them into subjects and stuff. In the right hand corner, click the new button. So this is where you click on your new sheet of paper. So when you wanna choose the paper, you can choose any paper so you go on templates just above notepads and underneath basic templates you can pick the color i usually like this light beige color but it's up to you you can pick a dark one i feel like the dark one is kind of nice too but i'm just gonna pick the beige because it's nice and bright and like for us to see preferably me i go in with the grid or the dark but i'm just gonna go in with the grid because it'll make everything nice and clearer and then press apply all right at the top here we have this bar and it has pens pencils highlighters rubbers text and what i absolutely love is that you can move this bar wherever you like usually i keep it in the top because it's clear and easy to see next what i always always do is that i just title my notes straight away this makes it so much easier when you're going through your notes trying to find them you can use the keywords by literally searching them i'll discuss that later on in the tutorial Okay. So no ability to tour or you can tell it as the semester, the class that you're doing because you may be using this for notes or anything else. I don't know how to describe these colours but I really like these colours. They remind me of the highlighters. They're very like aesthetically pleasing but in this tutorial I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna give you the aesthetic you know some of us are here to just write down those notes on this side you can choose the size of the notes me I usually pick the small size so you can literally see and compare which size is for you I usually go with this size but it depends and right here with these arrow buttons you can just go back you know like on the android where you just go back right here in the right hand corner you can choose the type of squiggle you want to do so i like this one to create my titles and see squiggly it reminds me of like cursive handwriting let's see no it's a bit it would be 10 times more neat if i had like the ipad down on a table but you can still write notes like this okay that's not anymore but what you can do is to move it you just click this box thing and then you just cover where you want to move and then you just move it like so i love this feature because there's so many times where i put my notes in the wrong section and i don't know if you're like an organized freak like i am i like things to be put in the right place so you can move them wherever which i love so much instead of erasing them having to rewrite again and then missing the slide of the notes that you're note taking no i like to put the day i usually put it in the normal handwriting so if we go back to the squiggle for of november if you want you can use the ruler so there's a ruler as well on here but i don't usually use it as much but actually do that you know what i mean so i think making the straight line is easier just zoom in and then make a line hold it and then you can just move it about where you want it so it's properly underneath we have highlighters you can choose so many colors so if you want to change the colors you just click on the color and then you can just scroll or you can literally just make up your own right here and create one this is why i love digital notes because you know highlighters they run out quick they're super super expensive so like having these digital ones is just perfect for me like again with the pencil you can choose the option of adjusting the size of it I'll do it a different color and you can just see what i mean zoom in every time when you take your note just the size of the highlighter and then it can be bigger like that just to make it you know a bit pretty but i know like some of us don't want that aesthetic key tiktok notes if you don't make those notes you're like oh what's the point of this app but no literally this app is here for you to make some notes keep it simple as possible you can make it fancy or whatever but we're here to just write notes okay we got the title we got the day we got the title of this note page another thing what i like to do to make it a bit more organized you can choose to skip this step but i recommend you guys do this actually just do a line on the side 
just like that and you make sure you hold it so it's nice and straight just go slightly across and do another one and then another one go slightly across again another one all the grids like have their own space you zoom in and then you do your notes so, uh, let's just pretend we're copying the slide or something semester one go to your highlighters and then highlight you can make it smaller add a different color if you want to make it nice and pretty if you have time so there's a pencil if you don't really like the pen but i can't see why you wouldn't like the pen because i think it's more brighter and you can change the color just like with the highlighter and the pen pen so literally has that pencil writing i don't really like it but you can always erase it and what i love about the erase you have the choice to do whole or partial so let me just show you let me just put this as an example of what we're going to erase so you go on the eraser button again and you can choose the size that one takes longer you can do the middle one you can choose whole go on the erase button and then if you choose the whole option you just make sure you select everything and then it erases like that but i prefer the partial because it seems more practical to me like i'm actually erasing on a real notebook next i'm going to show you how to organize your folders because that's the number one thing you need oh my goodness i have 99 notes you click on subjects and then add subject so let's call this autumn 2024 semester and then we're on here so you can see it's empty is let's say if you forgot to do all that the writer stuff you can literally just drag the notes and insert it just like that that's what i love about notability it's not so difficult like it's very helpful but another thing what i love right here is that we've got this search bar so let's say if we lost our notes but good thing we titled them so that's another thing you want to do with your notes make sure you're titling them adding keywords and tags so i'm going to search med so these are all my uni notes from this module that i did ability tutorial make sure you're titling your notes it doesn't matter forget the folders you just title them and you just search them up you can find them just like that other advanced features on notability that i love this is a secret like don't tell anyone let's say you have those lectures where they're just boring you just can't take it so there's this mic button that you literally just click and it records everything and what i love about notability it doesn't take so much storage compared to a camera or a video let's say if you're recording on your phone but an hour of footage that's a lot of storage but whereas on here it saves so much i don't know how it does it let's say if we're recording an hour lecture because we're not listening or we accidentally fell asleep is that you can play it back when you're studying you can play back and hear your lecture's voice telling you everything that you missed out or things that you just don't get because sometimes you can write a lot of stuff but it's it may not just be clicking you know what i mean that was like one of my favorite features especially with schools kept in the same notes that you took so it's not like a different subject with a different voice note so it's in the same share and import notes i like to import my contracts or if i'm making applications because well, how can you fill it in and sign it but if you import it on a note taking app like notability Notability isn't even paying me saying this stuff. You can import the contracts, the applications, and you can literally write and fill them in. And I've done that so, so many times. As well, you can share your notes. So let's say if you want to share it with a friend or something, you can share them through email, message. I forgot to mention is that you can add text on here. Let's say if you have like a keyboard, you can add it to your iPad. And I feel like that is the best combo if you just want to type on notability. You can actually type wherever. You can change the fonts, which I love. I'm going to put Arial because Arial is like a very common one that you use in school. You can change the color of the text. You can make it bold. Literally has all that stuff from Word imported on here. You can bullet point. You can add images because I know for some courses you may need to you know make diagrams and i feel like diagrams is a great way to revise as an example you know what i mean so you can move it here you can adjust the size those aesthetic note takers do to make it nice and pretty you just get the highlighter and then just highlight around it make it you know nice and pretty i know some people don't like the aesthetic they just want something simple but if you want to highlight it go for it label 
and see how we did the three columns how it's 10 times more organized Writability is such an amazing tool to help you stay organized you can literally take note taking to the next level you've just got an ipad thinking of getting an ipad make sure you get your note taking app like notability i forgot it is 10 pounds yearly this is not sponsored i'm giving you the tea make sure you go check it out make sure you subscribe for these ipad videos i hope you guys enjoy them bye